So today I'm talking about a P2004 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2004 code? Well, it's an intake manifold runner control solenoid stuck open bank one. And what does this mean? Well, basically some engines have what's called the intake manifold runner system. And this system is going to be located inside the intake manifold and it controls the airflow going into the cylinders. And it does this with little flaps that are inside the intake. They can close or they can open up and control the airflow flowing into the cylinders. And when you get a P2004 code, the computer's seeing that these are stuck open, that they're not working correctly. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And V6 and V8 engines are going to have two banks. Bank one is always going to be the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder on your engine, that side is going to be bank one. And then the opposite of that is going to be bank two. If you have a four cylinder engine, it wouldn't matter. You'd only have one bank. And one thing to keep in mind with this system is dependent on the manufacturer, the vehicle, the year, different things like this, there can be differences inside of this system. So it's going to vary a little bit on how it's working and things along these lines. For example, right here, this is a Ford. They have these individual flaps inside of each one of these manifold runners. Here's an example of a Honda manifold. And inside of here, it's controlled by this, by this actuator over here. It turns this along with the solenoid over here. And it's controlled by vacuum along with an electrical connection. So basically, keep in mind, there can be differences in the way these are designed. So if possible, try to get a diagram of your particular system to know for sure what's going on. But basically, when you get a P2004 code, the computer's seeing that these are stuck open. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what are some possible causes of a P2004 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is this vacuum line that's going to the solenoid. If your solenoid is vacuum controlled and there's no vacuum at this hose, then it could be clogged or it can have a bad one directional valve or something like that. So the first thing that could cause this is there's some kind of issue going on with the vacuum going to the solenoid. The next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the solenoid. If there's some kind of issue there, like an open short. It's got a bad connection on there or something. And that's going to cause problems. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. And the next thing that could cause this is that something's gone bad with that solenoid and it's not working no more. Sometimes these little plastic legs on this actuator, they get broken off, different things like this. So you can go test this solenoid and be sure that it's working correctly. So there's some different ways to go about testing those solenoid, depending on which one you have. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad solenoid. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with those runner flaps that are located inside of the manifold. If one of these gets stuck or there's some kind of issue going on with it, it's not opening and closing correctly or just something along these lines, then that's going to cause issues. And so the last thing on the list is going to be there's some kind of issue going on with these flaps that are located inside the intake manifold. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2004 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe and have a good day.